G'day, welcome to another quick tip brought to you by Shearing World. Today we're just going to look at our worm drive fittings. So we're looking at Evo down tube here. These uh, fittings are extremely overlooked and need to be replaced on a regular basis. Reason being, as you can see in this one here, this is a brand new one, and you can see the shape of it inside. And it's got those three little slots. Now those slots are where your worm drive goes in and screws down into like that. See, I'm screw I'm not pushing bringing that up, it's going up itself. So it's actually screwing in there. If we have a, a really buggered one of those we end up with a, a worm drive like this. And you can see it's actually chewed out. Hardly anything there holding it on. You can compare it to a new one. Look at the difference in the shape, the size and everything. So what happens is your worm drive is going, screwing into there, but those little prongs in the middle of that have disappeared. Now if you have a look in this one, there's nothing. <laughs> so if you push down in there, there's, you can't see those three prongs. So basically what happens is when your worm drive goes up there, it jams in there because there's nothing to grab onto anymore. So it's just getting forced in there. And then that was what happens with this worm drive. It goes up in there and over time it just starts wearing it out because the prongs are gone. Pretty simple fix, not that expensive. I think about $28 to $30 to, to buy a new fitting. Easy to fix. So we'll go through that quickly right now. All we need is a shifter. We're just gonna undo the short tube. There you go. Now you can use moldy grips, but I've got some uh, vice grips here. So we're gonna grab hold of the drive the worm drive fitting, and we're going to hold with the other ones just the gut, and we're just going to unscrew it. Pretty simple, like that, bang, and put the new one back on. You can just tighten it up because as, when you start shearing it goes into the drive and, and does up. So we don't have to go worrying about doing it right up tight. Get our tube back, slide it up. Remember, we're going to try and keep everything level. Now if you don't remember how to do this, there's another video back what we did on how to change the cogs. All this needs to be lined up. We need at least 5 mil of... of uh, gut hanging out the bottom at least and then we're just going to do it back up make sure the oil hole and that slot is all lined up nice which it is so now we just go to do it up like that. done so if you want to keep that in good order keep your hand pieces worm drive in good order Make sure you change them on a regular basis and it's as simple as just having a look and just seeing how much of that's disappeared inside there with wear and tear over the time. So any questions or anything, leave a comment below. Hope it helps you. Um, but if you want us to fix all your, your problems, we can do it here in the shop, but that's just a handy tip for you guys. Hope that helps. Cheers.